Hello? Who is this? This is 3484762, the Adams is. Not the vet? No, I've already told you this isn't the vet. But the vet gave me his card with his number, 3484726. Yeah, but that's where you've got it wrong. The vet's number ends on 26, ours ends on 62. Alright, awfully sorry, it won't happen again. I've already told you. I can't help you. Oh no, don't say that. Don't be so cruel. I'm afraid that if he doesn't get any medical attention soon, he'll die. How old is this bird? He'll be 30 in November. Your cockatiel is 30 years old? Yes, it's a good age for a bird, isn't it? But now he's just flying around in circles. You already said that. Is he sitting on his perch at the moment? Yes, he is. And he looks completely exhausted and quite depressed. Does he flap both his wings at the same time? No, he hardly moves his left wing at all. What do you think could be wrong with him? I think he may have had a stroke. <gasps> That's terrible! What do I do now? Well, Dr. Hicks doesn't have any free appointments today. And if we wait till tomorrow, as you said, it could be too late. The best I could do is offer you some tips over the phone. Whatever you want. We're going to have to operate that. Operate? I can't do that on my own. Have you ever tinkered around inside your washing machine or your car, even though you have no idea? Yes. Well, what we're going to do shouldn't be any problem at all. It's really quite simple. I'll guide you through over the phone. It'll all be fine. First, you need to anesthetize the bird. You're going to have to find a vein. A vein? On a bird? Yeah, that uh, could be complicated. Do you have any types of spirits in the house? Doctor, I never drink a tiny sip at birthdays at the most. We don't have time for this. Bring out the alcohol. Schnapps, vodka, bourbon or gin? Use gin. Administer two tablespoons to the patient. And have some yourself. Now wash your hands with some soap. Okay. What's the bird doing now? He's lying at the bottom of the cage. That means the anesthetic has taken effect. Now, go and get a serrated kitchen knife and cut open the skull cap very carefully. I can't do this. We have to find out what caused the stroke. Get the knife! Cut it. Now start sawing off the skull cap very, very carefully. It's not working. The knife is stuck. Oops! Oops? What do you mean, oops? <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> the knife's covered in brain. <laughs> There's blood everywhere, too. <laughs> <laughs> you messed it up. Damn. Oh, well, I guess there's nothing more we can do for, uh, Glenn's <laughs> 